We will st start the regular press conference by Minister Hayashi. The floor is yours. Thank you. I have one point to discuss. At the Cabinet meeting today, the Diplomatic Blue Book 2022 was uh, distributed. The Diplomatic Blue Book mainly introduces the international affairs and Japan's diplomatic activities of the prior year, but uh, some movements of this year have also been mentioned, focusing on some critical issues like Russia's invasion and aggression of Ukraine. Furthermore, regarding important diplomatic issues such as reinforcement of Japan-U.S. alliance, realization of FOIP, diplomacy with neighboring countries such as China, ROK, response to concerns related to North Korea, economic diplomacy, and global challenges. The Blue Book Disseminated Japan's effort during 2021 have been mentioned. From today, the Blue Book can be accessed from the MOFA website. Through this blue book, I wish to disseminate widely at home and abroad how Japan is exerting leadership in the international community and making contribution to the peace and prosperity of the world and hope that the blue book will facilitate the Japanese people's understanding over Japan's diplomacy. Thank you. Those of you question, with questions are kindly asked to raise your name and please mention your name. Please make sure to mention where you belong to and your name. Nobida san uh, from Asahi Shimbun, please. This is Nobida from Asahi Shimbun. Uh, uh, and I have a question in regards to the Solomon Islands. Uh, uh, because uh, the chi China and Solomon has uh, uh, signed uh, the security uh, cooperation agreement, there is a possibility, concern, uh, that there would be uh, the increase of the impact by China. I would like to know as to uh, the, uh, the, uh, the possibility of the government working on some kind of uh, 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 the approach in regards to a disagreement at this moment of overview still has not been made clear therefore we are currently making the confirmation about the details and though it may impose a huge uh, impact in the securities of the Asia Pacific region therefore Japan is going to carefully monitor the situation with a concern next question Tanaka san Jiji Thank you, Gigi Tanaka. From the 24th, the president-elect Yoon suk yeol of South Korea, the representative delegations will visit Japan for meetings. Are you going to meet any members? And should you have any meeting about the comfort woman or about the former civilian workers from the peninsula? What do you wish to discuss? Regarding the visit to Japan by the delegation of the incoming South Korea administration. It is still under coordination. As the international community is facing an epoch-making changes of the era, a healthy japan ROK relationship is indispensable to realize rules-based international order and to ensure regional and global peace, stability, and prosperity, including the recent launch of ICBM class ballistic missiles by North Korea. Their nuclear and missile activities are expanding. Under this backdrop, the trilateral relationship and cooperation between Japan, US, ROK is important, including response to North Korea ever since the diplomatic normalization of 1965. Based on Japan ROK friendship and cooperative relationship, bilateral relationship must be advanced. In that regard, I do expect that uh, President elect Yoon Suk yeol will exert his leadership. From that perspective, Japan's uh, position is uh, taking the opportunity of the delegation representing the incoming ROK administration to our country. We shall engage engage in careful communication with the incoming administration. Next, please. NHK Aoki-san. This is Aoki from the NHK. It's been, uh, it's almost two months since Russia has in, uh, started the invasion of Ukraine. I would like to know the policy uh, for the Japanese government. And in regards to this, uh, the situation being lengthy, I would like to know about your uh, view. As the Japan, 
has uh, provided a two, a two hundred million dollar of the emergency humanitarian support to Ukraine and also surrounding states. And we have also accepted uh, uh, the Ukraine evacuee who wish to come to Japan. At the same time, the other day at the video summit meeting on Ukraine situation, the Prime Minister of Japan has stated that uh, we are going to increase financial support for Ukra uh, support for the Ukrainian economy by three hundred million dollar. And in regards to these supports, when I visited uh, uh, Warsaw, uh, I had uh, communicated that the variety of measures and support have been provided uh, to Foreign Minister Ed Kreba, uh, against which uh, the minister has uh, showed uh, his gratitude. Uh, we would like to stand by at the side of the people of the Ukraine and uh, the people uh, who are facing the difficulties upon providing support in regards to the sanction to uh, have Russia stop the invasion as soon as possible. Uh, Japan, together with the G7 countries and international society, have taken uh, the stringent uh, sanctions. The, until uh, the impact of the economic sanction uh, to be realized, it is considered in general uh, that uh, it took, uh, that some time would be necessary. Though, based on the measures taken by the countries, uh, the increase of the price uh, in Russia, prices in Russia and uh, the stoppage of the operation and withdrawal of the foreign uh, companies have occurred. So uh, the variety of impacts already have been inflicted against the Russian e economy. It's been continuing on for around two months, but continuously uh, Japan and uh, Taichi uh, be united together with the G7 international society in order to further enhance the diplomatic and economic uh, 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 the pressure. So uh, the diplomatic the sanction and also the support for the, the people of the Ukraine and the surrounding states will be uh, conducted. Next, please, Sankei Shinbun, Mr. Chiba. Thank you, Chiba Sankei Shinbun. This is about the Solomon Islands. So Mr. Miyake is reportedly to visit. Is it a fact? And regarding South Korea, Republic of Korea, Mr. Nukaga, the chair of the Parliamentary League, has mentioned on the 25th that the minister yourself will visit. What about the schedules of your visit to the Solomon Islands? First of all, regarding Mr. Miyake and his visit to the Solomon Islands, Nothing has been decided yet. Regarding the South Korean delegation's expected visit to Japan, as for the dates, at the moment it is under coordination. Next question, please. Japan Times, please. This is Will Fee of the Japan Times. I have a question. From the standpoint of the Japan, in regards, in, from the standpoint of the Japan, what sort of meaning that the Solomon uh, Island related uh, the proposal being made by China has? And in regards to the regional uh, the security, well, how would Japan going to interact? In regards to this agreement at this moment, well, uh, the no uh, overview uh, is uh, clear at this moment. Therefore, we are currently making confirmation about the details, but it will have, it, it may have uh, the effect against uh, the overall Asian Pacific region's uh, security. Therefore, we are currently monitoring the situation. Mr. Maeda Kyodo. Thank you, Maeda Kyodo. This is about the a blue book, diplomacy blue book about the Northern Ireland, according to what has been issued, it has been mentioned it is a legal occupation of the Northern Ireland after 19 years. The reason why these expressions have been used and what is your plan going forward? Regarding the description of the diplomatic blue book for respective years, various diplomacy related events are considered comprehensively, and the descriptions are decided. Next question. Nobita-san, please. This is, uh, I am from Asai Shinbun. In regards, uh, based on the request from the UNHCR, uh, the transport of the supply materials, well, this was supposed, the India, had denied a verify I had uh, that the transport of the aid material has been delayed. I would like to know about the background. 
and how are you going to respond to the situation. So I would like to refrain from making comments about the diplomatic interactions, well, including aid supply transport by the SDF and the aircraft. The government is willing to consider a variety of the possibility, but at this moment, nothing has been decided. Next, please be concise, IWJ. Uh, thank you, IWJ Hamasumi. On the 20th of April, on the G20, finance ministers, the central bank governors, Russian Minister Siranov and the governor of central bank, during the comments, U.S., Britain, Canada and other countries left the seat. They boycotted the meeting. However, India, China and Brazil, the 16 countries who are not members of the G7, remained in the seat. 16 versus 4. So far, U.S.-led G7 has uh, forced uh, sanctions over Russia, but uh, the G20 has not been convinced, according to uh, this behavior, there are BRICS and uh, other growing and emerging countries in the G20. Uh, they are the leaders of economic growth. Japan did not boycott from the meeting, but so far, together with G7, Japan has been forceful in sanctions. As a member, uh, how will Japan keep pace with the members, or will you emphasize economy and uh, will deepen relations with G20. Which direction do you wish to go, Minister? Thank you. At the G20 Finance Minister a Central Bank Governors Meeting held on the 20th, I am aware that many countries, including Japan, condemned Russia that its aggression of Ukraine is the main culprit, the main cause of the numerous economic difficulties of the world today. As for G20's response to uh, Russia going forward, we will continue to consult with G20 members, including the Presidency of Indonesia and other members, and carefully looking at the situation going forward, the government will take appropriate response. Next question, please. Lisa. Well, this is, I am from uh, the Korea. I have a question in regards to uh, the, the representative of uh, the Korea for uh, the policy dialogue. That I have a you no. Know, uh, but uh, uh, in the LDP, it seems that there is a voice within the LDP about the participation of the Japanese government officials to participate in the inauguration of the president-elect. In regards to uh, this inauguration of the uh, the president uh, of uh, South Korea, as to how the Japanese government is to respond, nothing has been specifically be decided at this moment. The next, uh, Mr. Will, he's Japan Times. Thank you. This is about uh, the comfort woman, uh, the comment about uh, the candidate for the next uh, South Korean foreign minister. What is your observation? Uh, under the incoming uh, president in Yuxil, do you think there will be positive ad advancement? Do you have any concern that the advancement uh, might be hampered by a judgment by courts or civic society organizations? What you have been asked about, about Pak Chin, the candidate for the next foreign minister of ROK, I am aware of the government. The bilateral relationship related to the comfort woman uh, was uh, agreed as a massive diplomatic effort of both of the countries and at the agreement of the bilateral foreign ministers meeting in December 2015, it has been confirmed that the comfort woman issue has been resolved finally and irreversibly. Soon after that, the leaders have also confirmed and we have received the commitment of the South Korean government. This agreement is a promise between a country and a country, and fulfilling this promise is the basic of bilateral relationship. Ever since 1965, diplomatic relationship based on our friendship and cooperative relationship, the bilateral relationship must be advanced. I look forward to the leadership of the incoming President Yoon Further questions, please? If not, this is the end of the meeting. Thank you.